So spore-forming bacteria, they're really the uh, future of probiotics. I've been watching probiotics over the last five, 10, even longer than that in the supplement industry, and I'm seeing a, 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 a gradual shift into the spore-forming bacteria. Um, and they're really advantageous for several reasons. Uh, the main one being that they arrive alive. So as a spore, they're a seed. So they have this very strong calcium coat, um, which you know they, no matter what manufacturing process you use, they always can um, arrive alive. They, they move through the digestive tract, they move through the acid, they move through the bile, and they arrive in the conditions of the small intestine where they, they colonize, they germinate, they proliferate, um, and then they can move through the intestines to the small intestines. Um, the benefit there is that uh, most of the probiotics, lactobacillus in particular, um, they, they tend to uh, get compromised by heat or moisture or sunlight or whatever it may be. So a lot of them aren't arriving alive. So there's a lot of dead bacteria that are in pills, for example. Um, and that has benefit. There's studies showing that when they're alive or when they're dead, that they can actually be beneficial to the humans. Um, but I want my bacteria to arrive alive. I want it to actually be a live microorganism that can change my, my flora of my gut. Um, and the benefit, I think, the true benefit of spore-forming bacteria is that they secrete L-lactic acid. And lactobacillus and bifido, um, they're, they're heterofermentative, which means that they produce a lot of different things, but one of the things they produce is D-lactic acid. Um, the issue with that is that in big doses, these you know, 5 billion, 10 billion, 250 billion live uh, organisms that they claim on labels, uh, the D-lactic acid can create a lot of problems because it changes the pH levels in the, in the GI tract, uh, which can lead to leaky gut problems, it can lead to neurological symptoms, um, it creates a metabolic acidosis. Um, so it can be problematic in certain populations, but the bacillus strains um, don't have that issue. They have L-lactic acid, which is a very strong pathogenic uh, inhibitor and very uh, beneficial to the body overall.